Hello everybody, my name is Henrox, and I want to welcome you all back to the Sunless Sea. And together we'll sail these seas and try and, you know, survive. And today we have reached Shepherd's Isles, and we are going to talk to some people and uh, see what we can do. We're going to, you know, you know. So we have, uh, compile a port report first. That's what we're gonna do, yes. Surface roiling like a porridge pot, up with the roar and steam of flesh and fire, three windows swimming tentacles, and then we saw his highness. So rather a lot of this material, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Uh, so we have this uh, unlocked something waits at your port, so we can go to three places. And we don't need cash. I need a cask of mushroom wine, but... You can go to the bearded villagers are happy to talk about the local sites. Uh, well, site. And uh, who sleeps beneath the turf over on the islands by the northwest. That would be over there. Tales of the Thornwell Croft. What about the island to the north? And let's go to the happy villagers. Let's see. You heard of the Pillared Sea with where Irem lies. Wise man from Irem came here oh, 80 years ago. He planted three pillars. They were as big as fingers when I was young. Now they're as you see them. In my son's time, there was biggest dock cranes. Oh, awesome. Of course, uh, there is no actual shepherds here. No, well, we were heading east. East this way to see what's here. Because we've searched almost this entire area and we haven't find, found the, the nice little thing that we were looking for, the, the station. It's probably down here. Or maybe it's just right here. <laughs> that would be awesome. Anyway, so we're off. We're off to sail the sea and we're going to avoid the sun this time. We're going to see what we find up in the east of these lands, or waters, rather. We'll send out the bat. I didn't know you could get, get a, in the logbook there and get a position. Like I, I got a cat island down here somewhere last time. I don't know the range of the bat. But I'm going to keep sending it out now and then to see if I can find an island. Oh, what do we have? Ah, it's a pirate steamer. We can take that one out easily. All men to the guns. And women. Fire! <laughs> there we go. A ship is ours. We're gonna loot and scuttle her. What do we find? A bolt of fabric. A bolt of spider silk, indeed. Wow, look at that. What do we have down here? Those uh, floaty thingamabobs there, they often signify that there are things nearby. People, the piers or whatever. So we're going to dock here and see what they have to say for themselves. A light ship. Well, we haven't got any recent news and... We don't have any fuel, so let's just go. Send out the bat. No islands. How much gold do we have? We got two. Ah, but we got a bolt of silk, so if we find an island, we can uh, we can dock there. It'll be it'll be fine. Oh, bat swarm. To the neath with you, I say. Ah. There we go. And... Uh, dispose of the corpses. We don't need to eat any bats today. Alright. No islands. Still no islands. But we're heading east anyway. We need to find an island to... 
to get any uh, any supplies of fuel. The supplies are good. Uh, with only five crew members and, and the officers, we don't eat too much. We're close to polythreme. I, didn't we have something to do here? I remember. The fog bank is thick. Can barely see anything. Alright, on the other side of this island then. Obey. Wow. That does not look friendly. What is stalking us? Is it something in the fog? Alright. But we've found this little place. Commingle, obey, polytherm. Alright. We're gonna dock here and see if we can get some more fuel. Endure. Here is screaming the taciturn clay men. Ask about the house of the keel for the unsettled salvager. The ancient captain in Venderbite said that this would advance our search for Lady Black. Let's uh, get a port report first. Yeah, well. The claimant profess ignorance. The benches wail too much to be sensible. But there is an ancient long-winded harbor wall that remembers. The house of the keel made exiles of themselves, it says in a deep, crotchety tones. They boarded their ships and took to the sea. Then, far from land, they took axis, their ships, sank them and followed them, man, woman and child, into the depths. In the abysses they built their fathomless churches and resumed their worship of Lady Black, spirit of the deeps. The unsettled salvager holds onto your arm for support as you walk back to your ship. I need to dive again, she whispers. Grant me a suit, please, Captain. You do have one in your position. You could allow it next time you set sail. Okay, she... She needs to... She needs to swim, then. Carry Clayman to London. You could have... You should have a unit of six cargo space available. Can I sell anything? Can I buy anything? No. No? Alright. Well. That's great. Well, well, we'll continue east. That's our mission. Permission to dive. Alright, fine. The unsettled salvager has requested a diving suit so that she may descend and find Lady Black, a spirit understood to dwell in the abyssal deeps. You could grant her permission and the live diving suit and allow her to throw herself into the blackest black. Or perhaps you could bring her back to London and commit her to the Royal Bethlehem Hotel. I bet the Royal Bethlehem Hotel is like an asylum. But no. We've come this far, and we're going to give her permission to dive. You help the salvager don the heavy diving suit. The two of you are alone on the deck. Your crew have refused to be present. Once dressed, the salvager clanks over to the gap in the railing. She stares down into the black before turning to you. She holds her hand over her heart and leaps backward off the deck. An apocanic spray bursts from the calm sea. Exactly 21 minutes later, the line goes taut. You draw up the line, but there is no one in the suit you draw up. Only ancient axes and adzes, discolored by salt, tied to the suit with strands of yelp. Kelp. The outlandish artifact. Five outlandish artifacts. That's insane. Alright. Can we find anything out here? No islands, at least. The principles of coral. Beautiful. They shine in the night. I wonder what mountains, what monsters reside here as well. 
I hope. Apothic quills. Oh, a shark. Sad. Uh, toggle the lights. You're hurt. You should really be in bed. Ah, uh, all right. I'll be in bed. The sounds of the ship at sea, the toll of the watch bell, your eyes drift close. You have one wound. Alright, turn on the lights again. We're at Port Cecil. Alright, turn on the lights, it's coming this way. <laughs> oh shit, it's coming for us. We have to go around anyway. Port Cecil, they have to have any... They have to have some, you know... Some supplies. Uh, maybe they want to buy the bolt of silk? Oh. Maybe not. Oh, I'm about to buy no more. Eh? That sounds great. Port Cecil, rumpled convulsions of coral fill the water, glimmering with silvery light. The harder you look, the more you see shapes amid the chaos, almost as if they were sculpted. This one could be a crenellated castle. That one, a horse's head. A neat little port huddles into the side of the coral island. Prosaic imperial docks and houses tucked away in a baroque organic chaos. In that curious silvery light among the frozen chaos of coral, the scene has the unreal air of the pencil, pencil sketch, crumpled and discarded. Well, we're, let's play some chess. Why don't we? Chess is popular in the principles. The port is full of exiles, drunks, and washed-up sea traders. They all play, often obsessively. Chess pieces are carved from Sintelac. Here in the principles, they can be very dangerous. Well, we won. Odd, though, thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for home. That one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of his rank mate. This will be a queen one day. Those would do better as metal. You taste the metal. You ignore these thoughts and move methodically to a victory over your opponent. He blinks. Checkmate? He asks helplessly. Well, yes. Low risk challenge. I'm going to explore, uh, gather intelligence. How about that? The older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry color, coral encrustations like a sea, splotched with silvery light. They like to go up into the limestone heights behind the harbor to lay their heads against the pillar and tower, stare at the roof of the neath, dream open-eyed. Sometimes they speak of things far away, the Khanat's work, the smuggler's worms, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. Well, how about we try and gather some Sintilac? No, I think... I think it might risk some of the crew. We're gonna explore the coral knoll. See what's there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. More of these privateers. Uh, let's creep close and eavesdrop. They're speaking of a raid on Khan's glory, from which they stole pieces of prayer, of a boast that a rival band made about stealing the Empress' wedding dress, a sort of spiced meat which fills the heart with love, but they speak to almost coherently of privateers' lair in the western wall, of passwords in use, of brass embassy protocols, and of tuning techniques for drawing lost souls close. The buzzing, a buzzing rises in your brain as you listen until your eyes become unfocused and your tongue feels thick and heavy. You creep away before anything worse can happen. But this is an odd and useful miscellany of facts. I see. Well, let's play some more chess. How about uh, that? We did it! We did fine. Odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch. Oh, the same, same one as before. Very chancy challenge. Let's not, shall we? Let's go to the shop. Oh, look at that. We can buy, but we don't have any money for it. You know what? Let's go. Oh, it seems like a ship has grown stuck in the coral there. Now we're going south. We don't have much in the way of supplies. 
because we don't have any money. We couldn't buy there. But we have we have supplies, so we can burn the supplies. We don't eat much. We eat very little. I think we had eight when we left, but we we have barely eaten. We might have had nine, so we can we can burn the uh, burn that. Oh, look at this then. We need to find an island where there is lots of supplies or fuel. <sighs> Distant bells, yeah. I often clank, I know. The bells. Fuel reserves are empty. We were fortunate. We find found some uh, fuel. The wreck of the nocturne. Can we do anything here? Yes, you see, we can. Uh, we can go to dock here. And we are. The webbed hulk of a once proud vessel. We don't have any foxfire candles. Superstitions of the sea given even cynical sailors pause before ransacking half drowned vessels. Still nothing code. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. We don't have any foxfire candles. Well, here we have a port. Uh, it's the spiders. <laughs> I've heard of these. They're disgusting. Lots of spiders and web and dis... Uh, tears. Your cheeks are wet. You think for a moment that is sweat, but then sorrow hits you. Like a falling stalactite. You're weeping. You double over. Inconsolable. Give yourself over to it. Uh, your crew watch in alarm as you collapse to the board. Tears burst from your eyes. Your body is wrecked with sobs. It passes as suddenly as it started. But your thoughts are stained with a dark... Are stained dark with unlikely grief. Yeah, I suppose. I wish they want to buy something here. Maybe they want to buy the spider silk. Why would they want to buy the spider silk? The spiders. For crying out loud. A few reserves are empty, but I think. Let's find something. You were unlucky. You were unlucky. You were unlucky. You were fortunate. Now we have one piece of so yeah yeah. What's that? What in the name of Mike is that? Get us the heck out of here! No no no! Sure. <laughs> Thank you for getting stuck there. Oh, I, 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 I get. Oh, ow, that hurt. Huh? That hurts so bad. Holy rats. We have to get out of here. I'm not staying here anymore. Jesus. Oh, that was scary. Let's just keep going south. We'll find something. Oh. Oh. See, that's life. See, that, that. That's life. Empire of hands. Uh, we don't need to do any desperate measures. I mean, in fact, we can't. Ooh, one of those shining destroyers or dreadnoughts or what they're called. The Empire of Hands. What's this then? Did you see that? We. Alright, here we go. There it is. Why Why do I get that? Why does it go into battle mode all the time? Oh, Port Stanton. Look at that. It's going to dock. Stern reminder from the Admiralty. In the name and by the power of enduring majesty, a trade embargo and quarantine in absolute perpetuity has hereby been declared on the Empire of Hand. No ship of London is permitted aboard a Pentecost ape. 
who is to permit a Pentecost ape aboard without express or prior permission of the Admiralty. Any and all acts of spirophage are prohibited. They know what they did. Beware of stowaways. Keep a tight grip on your soul. With the regulation in mind, it is a surprise to be greeted by a mere itchy monkey in a tattered yellow robe, barely walking with the help of ceremonial staff. Hello, cries the mayor, its broken voice, one of not yet used to human speech. Come, make yourselves at home. All souls welcome in the bountiful well empire of hands. The crew shifts uncomfortably. They know the stories. It will take more than the natural beauty of this place to make most of them risk surely here. Well, um, no stores. Shore leave. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's not an audience with the flea ridden mayor. Uh, the Zeppelin. Let's do that. The two monkey guards turn me away. Oh well. An audience with the flea ridden mayor. The flea ridden mayor scratches himself on a chair made of crates surrounded by boxes of long rotten trade goods. A, so a five sold ape. He would be able to petition for membership of court. For now, the trade embargo has left him trapped on the outside. A three, three sold overseer with no talent for order. Sell your soul? I'm not gonna sell my soul! Uh, uh, mm, no, I'm not gonna sell my soul. That's the only thing I can do, so, no. We're gonna take a walk. You gave three supplies. Yes! Chance to gather supplies. You lost hunger. Great. All right, that's 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 the only thing I can do, apparently. Let's sailing the Empire of Hands. Let's go to the Sovereign Island. Many boats circle the island, all keeping their distance. The one get, that gets closest is extended rowboat painted in yellow, whites, and reds. Four servant monkeys strain at the oars while its true passenger sits in comfort behind a gauze curtain. Just for a moment, an eye catches yours, but only for a moment. It would not do for a high-souled ape to see something so beneath its notice. Now, we can't gain access to the court, so let's go back. Uh, let's go to the Fountainhead Island. Ancient secrets peek out of the trees. Any may visit, but few panties over bother to make the pilgrimage. The Empire of Hands is hardly as old as they pretend, but mimicry and theft infuses their whole culture. If the Penties have come to think that rulers should be buried in ancient temples, then in ancient temples they will build. If it would hardly be the first time their attempt to mirror humanity would have entirely missed the point. Well, I think this is a good time to end. I'll pick this up right where we we're leaving off here. So I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on the other side, as it were. Goodbye.